move to the, some of the responses. Um, what what struck me, and we've gone through the whole, um, you know, uh, uh, Joni Ernst is a Cylon, et cetera, et cetera. Although I have to say that she really does like, um, she she really does take she real. I mean, if you look at that her response again and just watch, like the look, she really knows how to sort of. Um, she uh, was very good at sort of emotionally shifting her perspective when she was talking about something that was supposed to be sad. She looked sad when right. she was, but but what struck me? But she was very robotic. I mean, I uh, thought yes, but she was trying out for like the Home Shopping Network. I yes, think, but I'm not convinced that doesn't work with a huge percentage of the may, uh, uh, may, of may the may American right public, that. frankly. But. Yeah. But uh, leaving that aside, the, what I found really interesting was uh, Rand Paul and Ted Cruz going uh, full-on populist. I mean, you were hearing uh, a lot more about wealth inequality, not just from the president, but from the Republicans. And and you're hearing it from Mitt Romney. I mean, it's, it's on some level, what, what struck me is that there were basically two entities responsible for the tone of President Obama's speech and the 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 broad uh, aggregate of Republican response, and that is Occupy Wall Street and Newt Gingrich. And, and I'll tell you why I say Gingrich. Occupy Wall Street, I think it's quite obvious. Newt Gingrich nearly knocked Mitt Romney out of the race. There were two things that really inhibited Mitt Romney um, in, in his uh, general election. One was when in February or March, I can't remember what it was, the, the, the Obama administration released those new rules on um, uh, contraceptive. Rick Santorum dragged Mitt Romney to the deep end of the pool of the uh, anti-contraception pool, dragged him down there, and that hurt him for the rest of the campaign. And the yeah. other thing was when Sheldon Adelson ponied up a couple million dollars uh, to Newt Gingrich, and Newt Gingrich keep cut him in there, yeah. that 30-minute-long documentary on what a, um, uh, a, a, a vulture capitalist uh, Mitt Romney was. And I'm convinced that's we're seeing why we're seeing this in the Republican Party now is because this is the way that uh, a guy like Ted Cruz and Rand Paul and maybe a couple others think they're going to go at Jeb Bush and Mitt Romney. And so everybody seems to be everybody's in the boat. Now, of course, we're not going to hear anything about this stuff, uh, you know, the day after Even the Chris election. Christie, because remember, uh, if Chris Christie runs, there's his brother, you know, who the, the, the I mean, I'm trying to remember if he had a private equity firm or whatever. There's a lot of there there in terms of graft and favors and you know all sorts of other stuff with the sec investigating so christie's another one who they could easily you know especially when they can kind of peg him as a northeastern guy they can turn him into that too and they will 